Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was just fun in general to be back playing football. You know, uh, it's been a long two weeks. You know, you hear a lot of people talking about uh, their loss at the Syracuse, and it was just fun to go out, go yeah. back out there, yeah. and just show people how I'm grab it back and come back out there. Yeah. So it was really good. It seemed like it was a point of emphasis to have fun. I mean, you were out there doing a, some kind of fishing move or something. <laughs> I you mean, saw yeah, somebody I swimming, mean, and it seemed like y'all were making a point to. Make sure you, you take the fun out of Oh, yeah, and that was the main thing, you know, just we don't got to, after a loss, we don't got to change who we are. And we just want to get back to, you know, playing with that swagger. And uh, just going out there and just remember that it's, it's fun. And we, we put the work in, and when you do that, you can go out there and have fun. So that was that thing. Just not trying to, you know, keep a cool, even cooler guy. You know, not trying to be so serious coming out to the loss out there and just show them that, you know, you can go out there and have fun and play loose and play free. You guys want to kind of prove that Syracuse wasn't really who you guys are, and this is, this is really the defense you yeah? have? Um, I would say that, you know, I would say we, we went out there, we played against Syracuse, but I, at the end of the day, you know, they, they just, they were the better team that day. But I, I do want to say we definitely feel like we could have played better. And I feel like, you know, looking back on it now, that was, that might have been one of the best things that could happen to us, you know, coming after the loss and just, because now I know how we, how we go rally back after, you know, some tough ball games just like that one. So it was good to, to, to have that experience. You know, a lot of guys on this team, they've never lost before. A lot, of, a lot of those freshmen, that was their first loss, and it was good to you know, put that sour taste in their mouth and just show them how they go right with that. So that was good. You guys were dominant tonight from the start, except for the one long run early on. Yeah. Do you, did you have the feeling, once again, once you get into the second quarter, that, hey, this is, we dominated these guys the last few years, and this is kind of the same old, same old feeling? I mean, yeah, man. You know, to, you know, see the stat sheet, those guys are averaging like 300 plus yards, we held them to 196. Um, Obviously, that's a good performance on defense, but we still feel like, you know, there should have been a lot less, you know. Obviously, we feel like we could have finished the game better. Um, we feel like we could play play yeah, four yeah, defense yeah. a whole lot better. And we let the big run break. So it could have been, you know, yeah, for under 100, 100 yards. We really focus on those small things like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to appreciate the winning. You know, to go out there and have a performance that we did against a great offense like that, I mean, it was, it was it's, it's really something you look back on and you should celebrate. Why were you guys able to stop Marshall and nobody else has all year? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing we got this plan in the seventh game, of the, I mean, eighth game of the year, yeah, eighth game of the year, and uh, we got a lot of different tape on those guys, and I feel like, you know, we was just hungry. I mean, we had two weeks to prepare for them. Um, obviously, you know, that's going to be tough regardless of whenever you play them, but I feel like it was more so just the focus that we had. I feel like you know, everybody just bought into the, um, to the, to the plan that we had, and they went out there and they showed it with the details, so it was really good, just focus on that. How much confidence does it give you as a D lineman knowing the, the three linebackers that you've got behind you? Oh, I mean, it gives me a whole lot of, <laughs> sorry. It gives me a whole lot of confidence, man, because I know that there's going to be a lot of times where, you know, we like to take chances on our D line. They can make up for those mistakes if we, you know, might lose contain a couple of times or maybe we don't do take take the wrong player on, on sometimes. So it's great to have guys back there who can run and do a lot of different things, just like a Trey Lamar who goes out there and plays D N um today, you know what I'm saying? Gets eleven tackles, two sacks. So that was really big, you know, to have guys who are versatile like that and linebacker. Coach V mentioned that the next week is redemption for you guys to get that road dog mentality back. Are, do you guys as players see it, see the next game that way? Um, I definitely do. You know, it's a it's it's a it's a mentality to go on the road in somebody else's house and, and try to get a win. And going in a, to a hostile environment like NC State, you know, guys who feel like, you know, they, we can't they kinda let the game get away from them the past what two, three years. So it's gonna be a very tough game for us. You know, they're playing very, very well. They're playing lights out. I mean, they had a tough loss today against Notre Dame, but we still know that um, they're going to definitely look to us because they feel like this is, this, this is the vi division championship coming up, right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so obviously we're playing for the division, so, you know, it's going to be a, a, a dog fight out there, so I'm excited. How important was the 